Hey folks, it's Ivan from Nerdwork Network, Computer Enthusiast Master Race. Uh, just got a, a little treat for you all. I'm going to be replacing the uh, Define C Mini with the new Fractal Design Define C Tempered Glass Edition. I'm going to go ahead and go for the uh, larger tower in this case. I will still be using a smaller motherboard. However, I don't think it will be the ITX, but rather the uh, Micro ITX. Uh, but we'll get into those details later on that. Uh, basically, I just wanted to go ahead and uh, get this opened up, show you the inside of it, not so much as a review, but I, uh, give a general idea of what I plan on doing with this case uh, for that modification. And I'll be sure to go ahead and uh, do some blogging and vlogging of this uh, build process, as well as doing some tutorial how-to videos as well, too, some of the uh, techniques that I will be doing uh, with this case as well. But stay tuned. quick little look at the case and everything uh, then we'll actually uh, go into what I'm actually planning on doing with the case itself uh, I'm not gonna really do like I said and do a review this is just kind of hey this is what I'm doing type deal I may do a review later on after I've already built into it uh, but as you see here though here is the uh, sexy case uh, with its the uh, uh, glass a uh, or tempered glass panel yeah <coughs> Anyways, uh, it is identical to the uh, Define C, uh, minus the uh, panel and a few uh, things for mounting on the uh, panel, but everything else is uh, pretty much the same, except this one has a ton of fingerprints all over it now, but oh well. Uh, the uh, panel is held in by uh, four thumb screws, and I'm going to be extremely careful with this. It is pretty secure on there, but just to be on the safe side. This is glass, it will break. I believe it's five millimeter thick tempered glass, but still it can come apart. Uh, the one thing I didn't like about this in terms of packing is one, there is no a uh, film over on the back side of it, so I uh, can easily scratch up things like that. Uh, real quick before I put this over, let's point out though there is the uh, rubber. Uh, uh, channel along the edges on that to uh, prevent vibration, which is good. I'm going to gently set this over here. But uh, to go back on about the case, though, so, uh, it was packed like any other fractal design case usually is, and it was just in two things of styrofoam. The glass wasn't a uh, put in with uh, any extra protection or anything like that. I would have liked to have seen more bit of a protect or protection off of that. Uh, they packed them really good. The boxes are good, but FedEx delivered this one. FedEx in my area is horrible. They throw things around. They don't care. It's not their stuff. Uh, so it could have easily been broken. Uh, luckily, mine was not. Let's go ahead and move those over to the side. Uh, pull up the other side panel. Like uh, the other cases, it does have the sound dampening material on the back of it. That actually does help out quite a lot. And we'll swivel around here. There is the uh, top fan filter, the screws, zip ties, brackets, all that fun stuff. About 20 of those boxes lying around. Uh, SSD mounts, cable management, uh, three and a quarter or three and a half inch drives down there at the bottom that will be taken out in my case. It's Define C right there. Up front, the only change on that is these little mounting brackets right here uh, for the uh, tempered glass, and there is more of that channel on the top and the bottom to uh, prevent vibration as well. Uh, but I uh, MNPC Tech, I do believe, came out with a little kit uh, with a tempered glass and little things that you could install on the uh, case itself to actually achieve the same purpose uh, for the ones that already have a Define C or I don't know if it's a, it may just be the Define C Mini. I'll put a link in there, but uh, anyways, uh, that way so you could go ahead and uh, add the uh, tempered glass panel onto it without having to buy a new case. Uh, my case, I'm upgrading from a Define C Mini to the Define C tempered glass. Edition, so not much of a difference on that. Price wise, comparing the two of them, this one's not that much more. I think it's only 10 maybe $20 at the most uh, difference on that. But uh, right here, I'm popping out the Mod Event cover for the top, more of the sound dampening material on there as well. And uh, this is where the included dust filter gets installed. Like so. Easy. Clean. 
Yeah. Well, anyways, uh, the bottom dust filter is actually accessible from the front. A lot of the uh, newer cases now from Practical are coming out with that, which I do uh, enjoy that. A lot easier to gain access to that in some cases. Uh, but in terms of a uh, modification, well, first off, let's pop off the uh, front side panel. And take out that filter, put it over to the side, and you just pull and release. More of the sound dampening material right there. And then there's your front filter, held in by these nice little clips. Not magnetic like the uh, Define S was. Pretty sure it was Define S magnetic. One of them was. Anyways, it doesn't really matter. <coughs> but I, uh, this is the case in all of its glory right there. Not too shabby, I have to say. Hold that thought one moment. I do. I'm back. Apologize about that. Just thought of something while I was looking at the front of the case. I wanted to go ahead and uh, give it a try real quick. Uh, one of the uh, first things I'm going to do with the case is, a, uh, since this will be a dual radiator supported system, I would much rather have some better airflow in it. Um, the uh, original bezel on it does offer airflow on the sides. However, there's nothing there on it. And it does allow it, but uh, with uh, the dual radiator, Design, I'll actually have my uh, fans on the outside of this, so they won't have the uh, proper ventilation that they would be uh, getting because they'd just be pushing up against that. Uh, so this will be modified, similar to my Define S was, and I, uh, here is my Define S bezel. I just popped it off the case, and I'm curious to see if it actually will fit. So I, uh, let's go ahead and give it a try. Ah, it's close. Not quite the same. Let's hold them up side by side. Yeah, there is differences on them. And the Fine S, of course, is a bit of a larger case. Not much of a difference. However, you can get the idea of what I'm going to be doing with this. Uh, it's basically just cutting out the center on that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try and offset it a little bit more towards the side here because the fans aren't as bad as the Define S, but they do appear to be over towards the uh, this side of the front of the, or the window side of the case more than I, uh, over on the back. Uh, to define us, my fans come out to right about there, so it's not too bad. I mean, it's not, I guess it would be symmetrical on it, but still, it's something to look past on that. Uh, anyways, all it is is just a, uh, piece of honeycomb mesh glued into the back of the port. Uh, MNPC Tech did make these as well, I don't know if they still do or not. Uh, I actually did copy off the Bill Owens design for that one. And a, uh, another one of my cases as well too, uh, another Defined S actually has one from Bill Owen and MNPC Tech. Uh, great craftsmanship there. Anyways, so I'll be doing the same thing uh, with this one as well too, uh, to increase the airflow on that. Uh, my Define S, I had a bezel up here at the top to prevent dust from getting in uh, because I only have a 240 millimeter radiator up there instead of a 360. And so that left out a lot of area where there was dust able to get into it. So I made a bit of a bezel for it out of acrylic. It was a real pain in the butt to do uh, with uh, how it uh, curves downward and then the angles here. Um, I was eventually able to get it. Not 100% satisfied, but it functioned, and as much effort as it took to get that properly, I wasn't about to do it again, so I just stayed at it the way it was. Uh, however, I won't be doing it with this one most likely, since it has that included dust filter. I don't really see the need for it. Uh, not going to be able to really see much of the, the uh, back of the case, or the top of the case where it's going to be located at anyways. Uh, but, yep. So that's that. Uh, in terms of other modifications I'm going to do, I'm still going to be doing a mini ITX or maybe a micro ATX board. Uh, the reason for that is because my uh, mini ITX board only has one USB 3.0 port and with the Commander Pro from Corsair and the RGB HD fans, I have to have a 2.0 port uh, properly get it working. I do have the ability to and I was able to rig something up. Uh, using the 3.0 and still have the uh, front panel connectors, just a USB 2.0 speed. However, that only worked for a little bit and now it's hit and miss and I really just don't want to fool with that hassle. So I may do the micro ATX, uh, switch the board off for that. Uh, it's the uh, current one I have is the Asus Strix Z270i board. Thinking about 
I can't recall which one's which on it. It's either the E, or I think it's the Z or ASUS Strix Z270G board is the micro ATX because I think E and F is the uh, standard ATX. But anyways, whatever the Strix micro ATX is, that's what I'll be using. Uh, of course, we'll also be doing a, a full model block on that as well too. Uh, for internal modifications, uh, Fractal Design is now including power supply shrouds with their cases. I like that. However, it's not the... I mean, it's exactly what I would like, but it's bland, so it needs something to pop it out a bit. So what I was uh, debating on that for is uh, doing some acrylic uh, work on this. may actually even remove this piece as well too, because I'm debating on either a 240 or a 316mm radiator up here. Uh, it does have the ability to do that. And uh, just having an acrylic plate over here, as well as over here, working around these grommets, of course. Uh, that may be a little tricky getting those uh, lined up properly, but I should be able to do it, no problem. Yeah, of course, there'll be some custom design on that as well, too. Um, I will also probably be doing a, uh, depending on aesthetic-wise, I might not even have a rear-mounted fan. Uh, because I'll have three intakes, two out, or two exhausts. So that may be enough. I'll have to do some numbers on it and see about the airflow testing them out. And, uh, I've done it quite a few without the rear fan on there. If that's the case, I'm going to go ahead and definitely will be sealing that up, but sealing up that whole area as well too with some acrylic. Of course, more uh, design to it as well. Uh, since it will be, uh, if it's IPX or micro IPX, I'm going to be having a bit of a gap in between here uh, where a normal IPX board would cover up. Uh, that will also have some acrylic uh, mounts onto it as well, too. Uh, now, the other thing I was going to attempt with it, and I don't know how it's going to work, I was going to pick up one of these from Mountain Mods. Uh, they have some on there for relatively, I think it's like $15, maybe $20 or something, just to test it out. And I've always thought about doing this with these uh, fractal design cases, but never did get around to it. Anyways, I was able to get in touch with somebody and get my hands on a vertical GPU mount from Cooler Master. That's their newer one. Uh, this one actually has a ribbon cable with it. The ones off of uh, Cooler Master's side, which were just 20 as well, don't have them. No. There is the box for it, but actually it does include the uh, ribbon cable on it. Looks a lot better than some other brands that I won't mention with open air chassis. Cough, cough. Uh, ribbon cables, really horrible issues. A lot of people Got rid of them. But anyway, so this one looks to be better quality. I'm not entirely sure how good it's going to be. Uh, I may end up having to upgrade to one of the 3M ones. But uh, one of the things I'm going to go ahead and try with this is here's the uh, bracket itself. Basically, it installs into the PCI slot, so we'll have to do some cutting in the back. And it uh, gives the ability of the vertical GPU. Now, uh, I'm going to do some measurements, make sure everything works out all right. I did notice somebody on Computer Enthusiast Master Race's forum, or not forums, but a Facebook group that had done similar with the mesh I see, and it looked great. I don't know who you are. If you're watching this, thumbs up. You did a great job on a, uh, working with that. So I'm hoping this will work the same uh, with the Defiant C as a, uh, they are similar chassis. So optimistic on that. If not, then I'll just have to do some cutting and everything because that's a good plate. I can make it work. No problem about that. Um, but yeah, vertical GPU mount, always like them and stuff, uh, not a lot of cases have them, and the cases that do have them I didn't really want to fool with, so I'm going to give it a shot with this, see if I can make it work good. Uh, the uh, GPU that's going in this is going to be an MSI uh, 1070 Seahawk, uh, not the one with the AIO, but with the actual EK water block on it. i uh, got a uh, good setup with that, so be a good water block for or a good GPU for it. But anyways, uh, so yeah, I do plan on doing some modifications. Like I said, the acrylic work on the PSU shroud, it is very good solid construction on that. So I'm not going to remove this one and replace another one that will actually cause some rigidity issues with the case probably. Um, but I will be able to uh, get a decent amount of work on it. There's a pretty good clearance right there. Uh, acrylic work on the back as well too, depending on if I uh, take the fan out or not. Motherboard area, I will also have some done too, just to kind of fill it in because I don't like seeing all the uh, little naked spots here and there. And uh, may also work on that area as well too. Uh, depending on what I do here with my Define S, I even had a shroud going around my radiator, so you couldn't even really tell it was a radiator. 
may be able to do that as well too. Uh, it actually looked really good with it. Uh, but uh, the top going to leave the same. Front panel will be cut up as well too. Back leave the same as well too. Paint wise or color scheme for the ones that do know that the uh, Mini ITX build it's RGB, so it will still be RGB with that. Whether if I change the scheme of it to another color, that's that's the thing I like about RGB. You do a blue build one day and then switch it over to a red build, blah 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 blah. Uh, but I'm gonna keep the uh, materials on it mostly. Is all gonna be black. The acrylic will have white piece or white gloss to it as well too to reflect the RGB cable sleeving and stuff. Uh, look through my inventory. I have to go ahead and do my uh, extensions. I'm not doing full cables on this one. Uh, but the uh, extensions and stuff will be of a RGB theme or just a uh, neutral color or something such as white that would reflect off of it pretty easy. Uh, some of the uh, Telios leaving for the white I have does reflect light pretty good. So may do that as well too. Uh, <clears throat> apart from that, coolant wise, is what I will be doing. I think I'm going to go ahead and keep that with a uh, white pastel as well too. You know, judging by the way I'm thinking about this, this is just going to end up to being a black and white with a little gunmetal accents from the Strix stuff uh, board build, though. But yeah, fancy dancy RGBs. I'll make it work. It'll be nice. I, I have some the Corsair LEDs that come with the Commander, or don't come with the Commander Pro, but go with the Commander Pro as well, too. So I think it will look pretty good. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up and get this all cleaned up and secured properly uh, that way so I can start working on it. Uh, so just stay tuned. Uh, be sure to uh, subscribe, check out all the media outlets as well, uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, of course, if anything pops up on the YouTube channel as well too. Uh, also check out the site. I'll be doing some uh, build logs on there as well too as on some other variety of forms. Uh, but subscribe, like, Check them out and uh, see what's next around the uh, corner with all of this. Uh, be sure to check out Computer Enthusiast Master Race on Facebook. The link is always in the uh, description. Uh, we'd love to have you over there if you're not already a member. Um, also be sure to uh, check out my uh, friend uh, Alvis Tech Group. Uh, he uh, does some great work. He's working on a, a great uh, rig right now for it. Uh, also, uh, say a word for him or something. Keep him in your thoughts, prayers, good juju, all that stuff. He's actually in Houston right now, and he's just been hammered by that hurricane, so. Yeah, he's alive and kicking. Well, alive and swimming, not really. Yeah, he's doing good, but uh, just keep an eye. But, yeah, I'll go ahead and end this at that, so uh, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, just want to type in something randomly, feel free to do so in the comments or wherever this is posted at. But, yeah, thank you much. Until next time, have a good day.